What's going on, Beta Culture? Should, should I say my name? Sergio Barron. What's going on, Beta Culture? My name is Sergio Barron, and we are back with another haircut tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show y'all step by step how to do a taper fade while he lets the mullet grow out into the shape that he wants. So, with that being said, let's just jump right into the tutorial. All right, man. So prior to him coming in today, he had like a faux hawk growing out. So I'm gonna just show you how to start setting him up for that taper on a mullet grow out phase. You always start by saturating the hair really well to make your sectioning a lot easier. So remember, the wetter, the easier. So if you gotta bust out the water hose, then do it. I'm sectioning the back from where the head starts to round out. That's called the apex area. Your line should go off to the side towards the top of the ear, roughly. Then just part out the top from the sides where the head rounds there too. That's called the parietal ridge area. Now I know he looks like a clown here, but I didn't know how else to showcase the sections. But you see here we have the back mullet area in blue, the top in green, and the sides in red, all separated to work on individually. I will be using our very own 6 inch faded culture shears, which I can find at fadedculture.com, or I can click the link right here on the top right to go there now. So first decide how much you want to trim on the back, then just comb down from the top until you reach the back bump everyone has or the occipital bone, then just pull out and cut. I only trimmed about an inch in this area. Make sure you're following the shape of his head as you see here. So as soon as you pull out your next section, make sure you move off to the side with it until you cut the horizontal line completely all through the back. Next, section out your vertical line down the back middle about an inch thick. Now when you pull out that section, you will notice your guide here on top, so now just cut the hair to match it. But since for this mullet we want the bottom to grow out more, I will cut my line in this direction to eventually let the bottom hair out grow longer. Once done there, just repeat the process until you match the horizontal line to all your vertical lines you see here. Just make sure your sections are about an inch thick. So again, pull out your next section, find your guide, then just cut to match. And you'll notice as I get further on the sides, his hair is shorter because of his previous cut. But remember, we want to let it grow. So when you pull out and you don't see any more hair to cut, that's okay. We want to give it time to grow out. Now all you gotta do is just repeat the exact same steps on the other side to finish trimming the back. And again, these shears y'all can find at FadedCulture.com. We've been getting really good feedback on them, especially for the price point, so check them out. The set does come with a pair of thinning shears as well. But now we're gonna cut the side section to match the back. So grab a section from the back and angle it out and cut your line at an angle so it gets shorter as you reach the front since we will be doing a ball taper on the sides. Your line around the head should look something like this once you're done. But now I will re-wet the hair up top to start that area. First I took out a small section from the back and combed it towards the front so we can match it and have a connection point. Then pull out a section down the middle about an inch thick and I also cut this line at an angle so the hair gets shorter towards the front. Then just keep moving back on that line till you find the back length to connect to. So here you can see the shorter length on the back, so that's where I'm going to connect to. Next, just comb that whole section off to the right side and starting from the back, pulling out inch sections moving forward to match the hair to the middle section. So when you comb up, you should see your middle guide to match to. And if you don't, then damn, I don't know. Maybe check your pockets or check your client's pockets. Maybe he stole it. Nah, but if you don't see it, then maybe you just didn't comb that section to the side correctly. So pull more hair from the middle off to the side till you find your shorter, the shorter hair that you cut. Then just repeat the same steps on the other side, matching everything to the middle. And there you go. We're done with our shear work. Now just blow dry the hair to start your clipper work. And before I start, I like to cut in my edge up line really quick so I can see exactly where to start my baseline. But to set in the baseline, close the lever on the clipper all the way to a zero. And I did curve in my line a little to give the taper a little burst effect. Next, we're coming up about a half inch from that line, as you see here, using the clipper with the lever fully open now. Again, come up about another half inch, but now with the number one guard and the lever still fully open. Next, using the one and a half clip lever still open, we're coming up about another half inch 
flaring out a bit so I can connect to the top length. I even used the comb to help me feed the hair into the clipper so we can finish connecting the side to the top. And now you're left with these two guidelines to blend out. I'm gonna start with the top one, then work my way down. So I started with the half clip, but I put the lever on 3 fourths open. All that is, is right between half and fully open. Then just start blending the initial start of that top line coming up and down about a quarter inch in space till you see it start to soften up. So take your time and be gentle with it. Then to finish blending it out, use the number one clip still with the lever at 3 fourths to blend out whatever the half clip couldn't. It's a good idea to angle the clipper and use the corners to get in there in a more detailed fashion. But now close the lever on the clipper to start blending out the baseline. Then open it halfway and continue blending and then fully open it to finish blending it out as you gradually move up a tiny bit at a time as you see it start to erase. And once done there, go ahead and take out the rest of the bottom of the hair with your trimmers before using your electric shaver to get it all the way down to the skin. But there you go, that's how you do a taper fade. Next, I went ahead and lined up the back a little because remember, he's going to let it grow out into a mullet, something like this. I know it looks a little funny, but that's my Photoshop skills, so whatever. Now, sometimes it's a little hard to line up bulky hair in the front, so I usually taper out the front using clipper over comb to make it easier on my trimmer to set in my front edge up. You want the line to be as straight as possible, so I usually take a step back first to envision my line and where I want to start in the middle, then slowly move off to each side to corner out the edges. Next, I applied some of our Faded Culture Shaving Gel. I like that it's clear so you can see exactly where to shave up to on your lines. You can find all our tools and products at FadedCulture.com. Next, I went ahead and prepped my Fade Culture Turkish razor with one of our blades. Our razors do come with 100 double-edged razors per box, so that's 200 razors. You just gotta snap them in half to insert one into the blade holder. Make sure when shaving that you let the blade do all the work. You don't need a heavy hand on these razors, they are sharp enough. Just make sure to stretch the skin with your opposite hand to create tension and help the razor glide easier. I know when starting out, most people are a little scared. If you're iffy, just practice on someone without an actual razor in the blade holder till you feel comfortable enough to actually throw a blade on there. Now this part is optional, but if you want, mix equal parts of hair dye with water in a portable air gun and lightly apply some on the corner edges to enhance that lineup and make it pop a little harder. To style it, I just wet the hair a little and used about a dime sized amount of our clay. Before putting it on, just make sure to rub it into your hands really well before working it into the hair. Then I just teased the hair a little and left it like that to give it a little wet, messy look. But that's it for this tutorial guys, let me know what y'all think about it, I hope this helped y'all and if it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if y'all want to know how I did this taper fade right here, just click on the top link. But as always guys, thank y'all so much for tuning in, my name is Sergio Barron, this is Faded Culture and I'ma see y'all in the next video, peace.